so Christmas didn't go as planned. Hello and welcome back. Sorry, it's been such a while since the last one. The hard drive holding the previous version of this episode just completely failed on me. But all up and running now, so let's take a look at wireless ping pong. So it's immediately clear that it took heavy inspiration from three Nintendo consoles. It appears to have NES games, a tiny N64 controller, and what seems to be a tennis Wiimote. Oof, seven batteries. At least it's one step ahead of the recent mini consoles, as this one actually comes with a power adapter. So let's get this plugged in. Really simple. You just plug the power and AV cables into the console, and then the composite end of the AV cable plugs into the TV. And then you just turn it on, and... Nothing. Huh, that's weird. What's that smell? So it turns out the power supply was 16 volts too high for it, and it just simply burnt out. I tried my best to repair it, but I didn't have much luck. So with the console out of action, it looks like it will take me a while to finish this until I can find another one, which would take some sort of miracle. Hello? Hello? How are you doing that? I'm an elf. I'm magic. I can do anything. Well, I could before I got kicked out. An elf? Kicked out of where? Yeah, you know, the creatures that make all the gifts so that the old guy can fly around inhaling all the mince pies and taking all the credit. He kicked me out of the North Pole because I refused to wear the jolly little elf outfits. And I mean, they're so bright. And I kind of now have to live out here in the frozen wastelands. And the further away from the North Pole I get, the less magic I can use. This is a lot to take in. So you're an elf and you were banished from the North Pole for wearing... that. But why are you on my TV? I need to grant one miracle to be able to return to the North Pole. And yours was the easiest. Most miracles are about viruses and lockdowns. I don't have enough magic to sort that out. I can see that. You couldn't even magic up a whole dress. It's supposed to be like this. Oh, um, it looks lovely. You were saying? So, to grant your miracle, I didn't even have to use any magic. I just went online and ordered another one of those terrible consoles. It should be with you at any moment. Uh, thanks. I, I didn't catch your name. My workshop ID is Elf69. <laughs> but my name is Busty. Yeah, I'm not calling you either of those. Anyway, I didn't do it for you. I did it for me. I need to get back to the North Pole. No offence, but you don't seem like the jolliest of elves, so why are you so desperate to get back to the North Pole? All my good stuff is there. Do you know how hard it is doing OnlyFans content on this? Okay, that makes sense. Um, well, if I've got any chance of making this video in time, I've you know, better get started. Oh, one other thing. Um, elves are kind of cursed with the ability to turn anywhere festive. So, here? Oh, wow. Uh, thanks. Uh, you? Whatever. Uh, well, uh, better get started. Okay, let's try this again. I think I'll just use seven batteries this time. Okay, let's have a look at the games on offer. Aggressor. Okay, this one looks familiar. It's just Space Invaders for the NES with a horrible skin on top and some of the worst hit detection I've ever seen in my life. Next up we've got Beat Balut. It 
it appears to be a version of Balloon Fight. Okay, Bit Bit Mon. This does not look familiar to me. Well, at least you know which character's the most blue. What the heck is that thing? Come on, lucky for fighter. Now there's something to put on a t-shirt. Well, I've got no idea what this game is. Now we've got Bomber Girl. <laughs> I wonder what this one could be. Well, I'm sure this one surprised no one. It's Bomberman. Okay, Bounce Wave. Made in 2004. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's Clue Clue Land. Bug fight. Ooh, there's some font. Oh, it's just a disappointing version of Millipede. Bunnies might. I don't know what they might, but they might. Oh, Bunny's mighty. I'm sure he is. What the heck are those things? Coronavirus? It appears to be a ROM hack of Warp Man. Okay, fighter. Or should I say super fighter? Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. It's Super Contra, but in the jungle. Okay, Lucky Ball. Oh, it's Teddy Ruxpin. Well, this certainly looks odd. It's uh, Pinball for the NES again. Magfox. Or Magfoy? That's a weird looking X. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's Super Arabian. I don't even want to play the real version of this one. Okay, Magic Ball. Is this, is this an original game? This doesn't look like a puzzle game that I'm familiar with. Have they actually made a game from scratch? Okay, Mars attack. Wait. This isn't a space game, this is Xevious. Xevious? Oh, never had to say that one out loud. Right, Mega Trek 3. I haven't played the first two. This one isn't a space game either. It's the Japanese hoverbike game. Uh, Sector Zone or Saycross. Okay, Monster's Lamp. Hopefully not a space game. No, I'm assuming not because they've left the character name as Milk, so it's Nuts and Milk. S-Move. Smooth? Smobair? Oh, okay, this one's Battle City. Okay, Space Arrow, another space game. Good. Get 100 enemy parts to destroy drag. The number of parts, 300. Are you ready? No. Oh, this is Galg. Star War. Just for one. Oh, this looks horrible. Unfortunately, the original's quite good. It's uh, Star Force. Okay, Survivor. 
Oh, it was a chuck and pop that sounded horrible and didn't really work. Trist. Oh, Jesus, Trist. It's um, binary land. Turbo weapon, where a small penguin has to kill flying skulls, otherwise known as joust. Underground battle. Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> Loving the random do at the bottom. Obviously, this one's Dig Dug. Okay. X jump. Cross jump. X jump. Oh, um, Mighty Bomb Jack. Okay, last one. Extreme race. There had to be a racing game on here, and to be honest, this one isn't too bad. It's just a rum hack of F1 race. Well, they were all mediocre, but maybe I've saved the best to last. Let's check out Ping Pong. So, would I recommend this? No. Not that it matters, because most of these have probably self-combusted over the last 16 years. Anyway, I'm going to tuck into a bottle of whiskey and play some good games. Thank you very much for watching this now Boxing Day video. I'd like to give a big thank you to Rachel for being an elf at the last minute. You can follow her out there at Potato Reviewer. I'll put some links to our other platforms down below. Hope you had a surprisingly okay Christmas and have a happy new year.